Give me back. Give me back. Give me back. Follow who no road, but no allow them to use you clear road. It is not smell. It is still fresh blood. Let's talk about Mobad. Still fresh blood. Who killed him? No, my Mobad in me. They killed him. Watch this video to the end to find out. They killed him. They killed him. Me. They killed him. She was out of more. Ah, still fresh blood. Still fresh blood. Still fresh blood. See flesh blood. As you already know that um, the police had gone to consume the body of Bobad from where he was buried and where the fresh blood was seen. Now listen to Mobad before he died. Mobad actually complained that he was given a bottle of water at um, NDLA's uh, office. was complaining bitterly that they hit him with a gun on the head and he requested for water. They gave him water. Since after he drank the water, he never got himself. And you'll be listening next. You'll be listening next what the mother said in connection with what Mubad said here. You see? That's exactly what the mother is explaining. Exactly what Mubad was crying about the moment before he passed on. Look at he, he was telling the mom that he is being threatened anytime he went for a show. They always threaten him. They always threaten him. Mm? Anytime we went to the they were threatening his life, they will be beating him. Mm? And he's asking the mom, please let them not kill him. Huh? So actually he confided in the mother of what he's passing through in the house of Naira Mali. Let them go and find Naira Mali. Hmm? And imagine the pain of a mother. Try the pain of a mother. Hmm? Honestly speaking, this is so painful. And this matter must get to its root. Justice must prevail over him. And many more will be uncovered in the circumstances surrounding his death. Okay? And as you can see, um, Toto DK, alongside other celebrities, with um, one of the senators, had gone to console the mother of Mobad. Okay? And um, that's how we're bringing you this fresh report. And from the whole indication, from the exhuming of the body, the fresh blood that they see, is even um, pointing to a, a, a direction that this guy must have been buried alive to see a fresh blood inside where he was buried in the coffin. It's a big red flag. And a whole lot of people need to answer for this. Who invited him to NDLA? For what purpose? All of that must be investigated. This situation should not be left to be swept under the carpet. And that is why we are bringing you this video. You need to watch, especially Nigerian youth, listen to the position of this platform because it is much more bigger than just mobile it's about the entire nigerian use and the system that was designed against them watch this video to the end you're welcome back again this is bvi channel one where we tell you undiluted truth honestly speaking you know quite well that I don't normally get involved with entertainment industries or celebrity news and stuff like that. But since the death of this young man called Mo Bad, a lot of things have been happening. A lot of things have been unfolding that people might have, uh, uh, you know, linked that guy to be something so strong. His spirit is so strong that since after he died, 
he began to trend across the world, not just in Nigeria. People are asking, who is this Mobad? And what killed him? Many politicians, including Peter Obi and the rest of them, have put in their voice for a concrete investigation into what killed him. Now, this will give you a lame light on actually who killed Mobad. Listen to this. I was at the hospital that morning when Mobad arrived. He came with one guy, the same guy that his video was trending on social media that was shouting, Mobad is dead, Mobad is dead. And that's why I told you that that guy, he had a lot of questions to answer because he know a lot of things that Nigerians don't know. The same guy he came with, and he is the same guy that took him out of hospital. Now, I was at the hospital that morning when he arrived, and I even took a picture with him. I will send you the picture. I will send you the picture. So when he came, I was I was happy to see him. I, I requested if I can take a picture with him, and he said, no problem. Though I noticed he, he looked so down. He was looking so uh, down that morning. I was not happy initially because they gave me appointment. Uh, um, and I got there. Uh, I stayed there for almost an hour. They told me that the doctor is not around. So at the time, I got angry. And one of the nurse there came to like calm me down that the doctor will soon arrive. So while we were talking... Mobad came in with the guy. So I saw him and instantly I was lightened up and I was like, ah, Mobad, I used to listen to your song. I'm one of your fans. Can I please take a picture with you? And he said, okay, no problem. So after taking this picture with him, he went inside. He went inside and I was sitting down at the reception there. I was just looking at the picture. Then after 20 minutes, after 15 to 20 minutes that he went inside, started noticing that they were just moving around, a lot of confusion. I couldn't understand. I noticed that they were trying to make call, they were trying to call some, some people, the nurses, they were just walking around. And something was not just right. So I have to like stand up. I needed to ask someone like what's going on because at the time I was even like, ang like I was even like kind of afraid uh, if I'm safe there. So I have to like, uh, I saw the nurse that was trying to like calm me down earlier. So I called her and I was like, ah, what happened? She whispered to my ear that they gave Mobad injection and he collapsed. So I was, I was shocked. Mobad, I wanted to shout. Before I know, even the nurse I was, because I wanted to like ask her, ah, what, what happened? Before I know, she left me. It came from an eyewitness, as I got it, who was there when Mobad was given an injection in the, in, the, in, the, in the hospital and which led to his death. I am not here to investigate this matter, but think about it. Hmm. There are a lot of things that are happening. You know, this celebrity stuff and all those things, just as you have it across the globe, not just in Nigeria, there are forces that are in control of that industry. And these forces <laughs> are not far from the corridors of power. To be honest with you, the forces behind the killing of that young man is more greater than just entertainment industry but when the whole thing unfolds to be honest with you that guy will never rest until those behind the killing are exposed stories are beginning to crop up things are beginning to happen hmm? but my advice to the youth follow who no road but don't allow them to use you to clear road it is an advice Mind what you follow and the people you keep as a company. To be honest with you, mind who you follow and who you, who you keep as a company. But even mind the kind of celebrity you are. What are you even celebrating about many of these guys? That is the truth. Especially Nigerian youths. It is a controlled industry. <laughs> To derail you, to be honest with you, to make you continue chasing cloud and leave the nitty gritty that will add value to your life. African people, especially, okay? I'm talking to you, Nigerians, Nigerian youths. Thank God this mobile stuff is beginning to ginger them. But I didn't see the this kind of ginger 
with many, many, many Nigerian youths that have been killed. Many are still being held captives by different kidnapping cells. Mm -hmm. They are being killed on daily basis. Nigerian youths have continued to die on daily basis on the high seas because of bad governance. I didn't see this kind of energy come out in them. But let it be that this guy, Mobad, will trigger that anger in you as a Nigerian. Things are happening under your nose and you are a direct victim. Yet, you are so beclouded to act. Maybe Nigerian youths are being wind up to the reality of their lives in Nigeria by the death of this guy. Maybe, I'm saying maybe, it is more than the eyes can see. And that is why I'm making this video. Nigeria, you wake up because <laughs> something worse than Moba's death is happening to you. And yet you kept quiet. Look at what happened at the tribunal. Look at what is happening with your government. Look at how misery they've rendered your lives, many of you. And yet, everybody's keeping quiet. <laughs> This same man in power today benefited and enjoyed the best this country could offer them. And that's exactly what they have deprived you. And yet, you are quiet. You didn't mobilize this kind of energy. I just hope that this protest of Mubad, justice for Mubad, will translate into justice for all Nigerian youths who have continued to be victims of bad government. In this country that is the message keep sharing this video and let's see where we get to it on this matter bye bye for now help me share this video to every nigerian youth out there drop your comment on the comment section i want to have your opinion and subscribe if you have not for more videos